Happy Sunday, guys. Today is Sunday, February 19th, 2023. So I want to give you a shout out to my sister-in-law. Happy 49th birthday to you, Jody. I love you. And I hope you have a great, amazing day. And for the rest of you, I shall be reading to you all the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 1 through 30. And happy weekend as well. So, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19. Book 6, Ministry in Judea and Jerusalem, Chapter 19, Marriage and Divorce. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. Great crowds followed him, and he cured them there. Some Pharisees approached him and testing him, and tested him him saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatsoever? He said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and he joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. They said to him, Then why did Moses command that, uh, that the man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss her? He said to them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful and marries another, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is not the case, oh, if that is not the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, not all can accept this word, but only those to whom that is granted. Some see, some are incapable of marriage because they were born so, some because they were made so by others, some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Whoever can accept this, uh, whoever can accept this, ought to accept it. That being said, um, before I continue on, the Catholic Church, and I talked about this before, <laughs> every time I read this passage <laughs> in any of the Gospels, the Catholic Church does not, I must sound like a broken record, the Catholic Church does not, does not recognize divorce. So if a Catholic gets divorced, um... And they're trying to get married to another person. That person is committing adultery. And adultery is when you have sex with a married person. When a married person has sex with a person, whether married or not, that is not their spouse. So, for example, if I was married um, and I was divorced... And I decided to get married or get in a committed relationship with someone, whether that person is married or not, I would be committing adultery because I'm married. That's just a so-called case. I'm not married. But yes, I am in a committed relationship. Um, annulments are there... Um, that they, the annulments are not divorce, and annulments um, basically say that the sacrament of marriage never happened. So, yeah. Hmm. I wonder. This thought just crossed my head, my mind. Um, if the sacrament of marriage never happened with annulment, 
was the woman and a man committing adultery or anything like that? Just curious. Just to throw that out on you all. Something to mull over. But anyway. The first time you can get an, an annulment pretty easily, easily, give or take. The second time was like a 50-50. Third time onward, no, I can't get it. But yeah, that being said, I shall continue on. Blessing of the children. Then children were brought to him that he might lay his he hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me, and do not prevent them. Sorry. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. The rich young man. Now someone approached him and said, Teacher, what good must I do to inherit and well, I totally messed that up. Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about this good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked them, Which ones? And he uh, uh, and Jesus replied. You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All of these I have observed, what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell what you have, and give to you, and give to the poor, and you'll have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard the statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings, this is impossible. But for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in in reply, we have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will you will yourself sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for my for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. That was the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 30, verses 1 through, I mean, uh, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 1 through 30. And back to when Jesus said to his disciples about how it would be easier for a camel to pass through an eye of the needle rather than a rich man to enter heaven. So back in the day, there were shepherds and stuff. And shepherds tend to sheep, and the sheep has to be somewhere during the nighttime. Or else the wolves and other wild animals could get them. Now... The thing that the sheep are in is called a needle. So the eye of the needle is the opening, only fit for a sheep. Sheep can get in, no other animal bigger than sheep and goats can get in. So, with that being said, when he said an eye a camel could pass through an eye of the needle, Jesus did not mean 
a little sewing needle with thread. He met what was commonly known back then, a enclosure for sheep. So imagine a camel, this large mammal, trying to get in an entrance that was only met for sheep. Only the size of a sheep could get in. Why rich people have a hard time entering heaven is that um, the ones who are, do have a hard time entering into heaven is that because those particular people have pride. And pride is and greed of money. And also in the scripture it says that the love of money is the root of all evil. It does not say the love of uh, that money is the root of all evil. It says the love of money is the root of all evil. But anyway, um, so, yeah, because people who have pride and who have greed, but mostly pride, pride is a very hard um, virtue vice to get rid of. It's also a virtue as well. It's okay to be proud of what you've done. That's totally fine. That's using pride in a good way. But when we're prideful, that's when it becomes a vice. And it is hard to let go. And that's why it's hard for rich people to enter. Rich people who love money, who that's why they're, it's hard for them to get into heaven. And it's way easier for a camel to try to fit into it sheep size door so yeah that being said um yeah happy sunday um i hope you all are having a wonderful sunday um please stay tuned for my next video for tomorrow's video from matthew 20. um again i just want to wish to you wish my sister-in-law jody a wonderful happy 49th birthday i love you and I hope my brother Tom will treat you to like the most wonderful restaurant out there. Um, and I hope he makes your day. Love you. And for the rest of you, um, God love you and love you all.